Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with another tool review video for you today. And today, I'm pretty darn excited. It was two, maybe three years ago where I attended a tool show down in Orlando and was introduced to Gray Pneumatic for the first time. As a professional technician, you get trucks that uh, possibly drive up to your place of employment and this might be a Snap-on truck or a Mack truck or Cornwell. Uh, you might also have heard of uh, KD Tools, uh, that type of thing. But the first time I ran into Gray Pneumatic was at this tool show. And I was really glad I did because honestly, ever since I saw uh, what they had to offer, I've been dying to get my hands on one. The unique thing about this Gray Pneumatic set and what I have for you here today, just so that we know what we're talking about, this is the Gray Pneumatic metric set. It's a six point set. It's the uh, 81635 MRD set, and it contains uh, sockets deep from 7 to 22, and also shallow from 7 to 22. It also has a 3 inch and a 6 inch extension, wobble extensions I should say, as well as a ratchet to go along with it. Now the unique thing about gray pneumatic stuff, and this is what I like so much, is it's both impact and used as a hand tool. Uh, some of you, in fact, have been told about this in the past, uh, have real issues with using uh, chrome sockets on impact tools, and rightfully so. Because they're hardened, it makes them a little more brittle. So what can happen when you're using a chrome socket on an impact tool is that it can actually shatter, or little chunks of chrome come off. In fact, I'm aware that in the aircraft industry, they aren't allowed to use chrome tools because uh, of the possibility of the little flakes of chrome coming off. And, getting down into the machinery, which would be a very bad thing. Okay, to illustrate what's cool about this great pneumatic set, I have two sockets for you here from other sets. One is uh, the chrome one here is a Matco, and the uh, impact here is a Mac socket. If you take a look at these, you'll notice that the chrome socket has a much thinner wall than the other impact socket. And that's because of, of how these are made. So they're, they're made a bit differently. So the thinner walls, of the chrome sockets are nice for getting into tight areas, whereas the thicker walls of the impact are designed to handle impacts. What this set from Gray Pneumatic does is it combines the best of both worlds, so you get thin wall impact sockets. So why don't we open it up, get a look inside, and see what those look like. from the outside. Nothing else in the box. We have uh, impact socket pocket guide. That's some important information. Uh, the handle is removed and stored inside the case, so it talks about I guess the handle that you can use to carry this around with, which I believe would pop into this area here. So we'll just open her up. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. So here is the same size socket out of this gray pneumatic set. And you can see it's more closely matched to the uh, chrome socket than it is the impact socket. But it is a very thin wall impact socket and it's light. It's actually lighter than both of these other sockets. And that's what I like it. It just, it just feels awesome. Uh, as far as where these are made, this set was made in Taiwan. So these are all nicely numbered. Um, that handle that they talked about is actually right here. They're coated with a rust inhibitor. sort of the wet slimy stuff you might be seeing there. But in addition to the sockets, we also have a wobble extension. And if you've uh, wondered what a wobble extension is, oh, and I should have said that this is a 3 8 set. What a wobble extension is, is an extension that allows the socket to pivot on the end of the extension. So you still have that. It's almost like having a universal joint, but it's a little tighter and it's a little bit better than a universal joint in that it transfers the force uh, not through a universal joint. It's, it's directly on the end of the uh, extension itself. So it's really nice when you're looking to get just a little bit of bend out of something if you're trying to get down into a tight area. 
and we have the 3 8 three eighths ratchet. Now this, what's unique about it is it has, uh, the switch is completely flush with back here. You can see it doesn't stick up at all. Uh, so if you're using it in say a tight area, it's made so that it doesn't catch on things as you're working and change directions on you. And it just, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's got a nice noise to it, a nice feel to it. And it's got a release button in the center, so after you uh, put the, when you when you install the socket, you have to push the release, and then it locks on there. You can't just pull it off, and then you can take it off like this, which I like. I I, I like having uh, the the type that you can just pull on and off, but I like this even better because if I'm down in a tight area, or the, maybe the socket gets a little worn or something, and it falls off <laughs> down up underneath somewhere where it's just really super inconvenient, kind of sucks. They feel very light. They almost don't feel like they're they're strong enough. You can feel that the ratchet has like many small teeth, which I like because if you're in a tight space and you've only got so much room to move this, that's as far as I need to move right there to get this to move. So I can. It may take forever, but I can I can actually start turning a fastener with as little movement as this. That's one click. So let's go over to uh, something. Let's find something to take apart with this new uh, set because, like I said, I'm really excited about this because I think they're awesome. Now, I wish I had a repair for you here, but I got an idea. The other thing I like about these is they're numbered. And so if you've got these in a pile on, like, say, your cart or something, and you're trying to grab the right one, it's always nice to just be able to reach for it and get the right size and having those numbers there makes that easier and I think what I'll do today is demonstrate the use of that wobble extension I told you about Put this on up off of here oh. do you believe that do you believe that you just saw that happen I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I took that off because I just found something looks like somebody's been making a little nest in my car here and I'm glad I checked this out because stuff like this uh, can turn into uh, chewed wires all kinds of stuff so I'm kind of glad I did this review let's uh let's give the wobble extension a try say I wanted to take this intake bolt off but I didn't want to take the power steering pump off which is sitting right here now trying to get down in there like this is super tight there's just not a whole lot of room to do it. So, I will take my, my six inch extension here, wobble extension, put the socket on the end, I believe this is a 12 millimeter. And you can see if I was using a straight extension, I'd only be able to go on like this, but since this is a, a wobble extension, I'm able to fully seat the socket on top of the fastener, which is wicked nice. So. And then watch this, watch the action on how far I need to, well, it's already broken loose, but uh, I don't need to turn the ratchet all that much to get that loose. But now that it is, I can just undo this by hand, and you can see that the socket will continue to turn like that uh, with the wobble extension. So unlike a universal, which if, if you bend it to too much of an extreme, can actually put it into a bind and, and actually break the universal joint. I'm gonna run this back down. All right, now maybe I can show you the amount of movement I need. That's it. That's as far as I need to, to move the ratchet. So it's got a very, very tight tooth pattern inside the ratchet. I can almost get this other fastener next to it. It's a really tight fit but I can actually just about get on this fastener next to it probably knock it loose nope <laughs> that would be a much better job for a wrench so I'm a little I'm a little too extreme on my angle on this one. Oh wait just move the socket a little bit. Nope. 
I'm going to have to use a wrench on that one if I wanted to take that one off. Uh, but you can see the benefits of having a wobble extension. Like I said, ever since I saw these, I wanted to use them. And once again, you can use these on your impact just as easily as you can with your ratchet. So you don't have to worry about them chipping or breaking or shattering or anything like that. So you can use these on your impact or you can use them as hand tools. It's all your choice. As I keep saying, I was very excited to get this set from Gray Pneumatic. I will uh, post the price in the description. Uh, the prices often change. Also a link to where you can uh, check out a set for your very own. Seven to 22 and both uh, deep and shallow. Also get a ratchet a three inch and a six inch extension. Purchases like this are purchases that last a while, especially if you're a professional technician. This is like your bread and butter, so you wanna buy quality. Uh, I have Maco, Snap-on, uh, Mac sockets. They all work great. But these, uh, I also think work great. But as I said, I really didn't hear about them until I was at the tool show, so it's not, it's not a brand that I think a lot of people know about, which is kind of why I'm doing this review, because I'd like to introduce uh, green pneumatic to you and what they can do. So once you uh, check out a set for yourself, I am totally geeking on them and I apologize if that seems biased, but really I, I'm, I'm excited to have these tools. So there. Anyway, I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com, including uh, the tools page where you can check out other tools, like lots and lots of tools. If you uh, have automotive questions, I would ask that you go there. There's a welcome video to tell you about all the wonderful features we have at ericthecarguy.com to help you with those automotive issues. In addition to that, if you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and don't forget to play with your tools, people. See you next time.